So, welcome back guys. Uh, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yes, even The Undertaker was glad to see me come back. Uh, <laughs> recently I recorded a video for uh, the Polish games company, Movie Games. And then they were so kind, they gifted me uh, that game to actually play. Uh, the Lust From Beyond, right? And in a lot of... When I do my videos, I do a shit ton of research. Uh, I'm not the best YouTuber, I'll criticize myself, but I am also very proud of certain things. That being the effort I put into my research. And researching this game, uh, well, the series actually. The, the mythos that they established uh, in creating this game is really good. It really... They were not lazy in the storytelling side at all. I'm not saying they're lazy in other parts uh, at all either, but they really nailed the storyline. And then a lot of people actually requested that I do Lust for Darkness, and I think that would be very interesting to play. Uh, there are also two uh, DLCs basically um, Lust from Beyond Scarlet and also Lust from Beyond Prologue. Uh, I had a look through those games uh, on just YouTube to see. I want to make good content for you guys, and then I thought, nah, let's do Lust for Darkness. So we're going to play that game, uh, we're going to play it all the way through, it's not the longest game either, so I don't think you guys will be getting bored, uh, running everything on high, uh, as much as I can on my my faithful old laptop here, uh, subtitles on and everything, so should be alright. Uh, let's go back and let's play, I, for the reference, I know, for the reference, I, it does say continue, but I only did that once again just to check that my recording software is still working. Uh, actually, I don't know what side stories is about. I'm going pretty much into this game very blind. Uh, Alright, you discover stuff. Alright, fine. Uh, I'm going into this game pretty much blind. Um, besides like the first few minutes. Just, as I said, to see the, um, the recording quality. You know, sound levels and all that shit. So, it should be working fine. I'm really looking forward to this, and uh, also looking forward to doing more for this channel. I mean, I always say it's not a gaming channel, <laughs> but I mean, whatever I uploaded here, like one video was not gaming. Uh, but yeah, for now, you know, that seems to be working, and I enjoy doing Let's Plays, you know. Um, a lot of people say, actually, my banter is pretty decent. I don't know. <laughs> There's worse things you could be called in the world, so... Uh, at least I'm not boring. <laughs> At least I try not to be boring. Anyway, let's skip ahead until we don't need this loading scene and I'll save my breath. Let's move on. Can you remember what you looked like? I suppose he was bald. Oh, child, and I'm sure I'm just making things up. Let's not talk about this anymore. Well, he's really what? He's a psycho. Be curious. Are you serious? Are you serious? Psycho? You were exaggerating. You just told me you Alright guys, welcome, oh, okay, well, I haven't start, stopped the episode yet, sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, this is about as far as I ever gotten in this game. I just stayed in this little room just to check my audio and stuff, but yeah. So, everything here is fresh, I don't even know what this note says, frankly. Um, yeah. Also, I mean, that Amanda person that we saw just talking now, obviously that's a reference to Amanda Moon from Lost From Beyond. Um, so I mean, I guess there's no spoilers really in this game, because we know who's going to survive, who's going to die. Jonathan is alive, 
Amanda is alive. I mean, you must have watched my previous Let's Play, right? So, <laughs> I don't think I'm spoiling anything here. <clears throat> Dear Amanda, this evening at 6.30 p.m., I'm going to collect you from your new home. I sincerely hope that, like me, you can't wait for our first date to happen. Do not worry. I also take care of everything. All you need to do is follow the path of love. I'm looking forward to our romantic tete-a-tete. -tete. Yours truly, WD Yelverton. Hmm. There's that sign. Now, if I remember correctly from the game, uh, the first one, no, the second one, this is the sign of the Cult of Ecstasy. And uh, the other one was for the Scarlet Lodge. So the Scarlet Lodge are the assholes who want to screw you. I love a mechanic here that you can interact with stuff like this. It's very clever. Reminds me of the early days with, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Amnesia, the Dark Descent. Oh, I, I don't actually like playing horror games. I know, I love the story. I'll happily go and, and listen to the mythos like crazy, right? Of some, of some storyline. Uh, let's see, man. I will like put my controller through the wall. I'm that guy. <laughs> or throw the chair. <laughs> I am not good with horror stuff. Um, ironically, I have a channel dedicated to horror, but you'll notice it's Lovecraftian horror. It's no jump scares and shit. I I just hate that stuff, man. And here I am. So I'm sitting in the dark completely. Uh, headphones on. That's how you're supposed to play these games. But I think you get some sort of sick amusement out of seeing this stuff, don't you? I mean, it's always different, like, if you... I thought there was a guy down there. I always thought it's different, like, if you watch... So you are going to watch me play this, right? Obviously. You're kind of relaxed. I know some people, like, get nervous for what they see on the screen. But you don't have to... You're just watching. You're observe, observing. You're passive, you know? I'm active. So I have to be very nervous. Oh, who's this prick? How are you doing, buddy? must be my rapist for the night um, <laughs> but you know if you are in control you feel a lot more stress obviously I don't have to tell this to you gamers you know but uh, yeah I cannot see shit down here Look, I'll bump it up in post-production for you guys but for me this is dark as hell but I think this is like accurate because I mean it's just like pissy little candles around you know uh, yeah. Hmm. So, yeah, I never really liked games like Outlast. Uh, Amnesia was good, because it was very psychological as well, but, like, Outlast is just like, oh, boo! Boo! Oh, scary! Ah, rah! It's cheap man's horror, man. No offense to anyone who likes it. I mean, to each... Oh, fuck off. Why is it like going off? No offense to anyone who is just um, into that, you know, to, to each their own, and I'm not going to go piss in your cornflakes, but... Oh, you can't like something I don't like, you know? I know that's like the mindset these days with <laughs> some people out there. Um, but yeah. Oops. Oh, look at this wine cellar. Jesus Christ. Just end the game right now and lock me down here. Oh, speaking of which, I have some wine too, ba too boys. Sicilian wine. I tell you, one of the benefits of living in Europe, our wine is just... Oh. Mm. I tried wine from like America and such, but uh, I just can't... Uh, it's good. You guys do good wine there in California and such. But, uh, man, when you have Italy to the south, France to the west, uh, Germany's up there. I mean, they bless them. They try their hearts with their wine, but... <laughs> Yeah, you don't drink um, foreign wine. Strictly European. Uh. Okay, I should also point out there is going to be apparently sex in this game. Uh, and because it's YouTube, I will have to censor that stuff. I'm sorry, guys. I hate it as well. You know my video that I just did for the Arkham Reporter channel? Less than uh, um, two hours or something. It got demonetized, basically. And, um, yeah, age restricted. And I already feel bad because I did this for the company. And then, you know, it was for their advertising. You know, I mean, they wrote me an email afterwards saying, wow, this is your analysis was exquisite. It's really in depth, really well done. Thank you so much for 
uh, the video, but now it's, it's like they can't even use it. None of this. It's good to be in uh, good terms with this company. Um, so yeah, if there is any sex, I will have to censor it out, I'm afraid. Sorry, guys. But, uh, oops. Oh, there's a Lovecraftian horror. Man, just turn that into a tentacle, then we got a real story going. <laughs> that guy's like all Victorian and shit. Like they had that in the Victorian days. Okay. <laughs> no wine. Alright. I got some wine here, don't worry, if I get thirsty. Okay. Obviously with all the masks and stuff, you're thinking of... Uh, what do you call it? Eyes wide shut. And then that film pissed me off. Obviously like the orgy scene was kind of fun. But I mean You think that shit actually happens in real life? I kinda of think it does. Probably like like Jeff Bezos. I mean if you have Jeff Bezos kind of money, you can arrange some orgy like that. What have we got here? A tongue thing. I think I saw this in Oh, I can turn it. Kinky. Oh, yeah. Like the controls are a bit finicky actually for for turning, um, but I mean this was the first game made by, uh, you know what? Fuck that! It's, it's not even a woman there. What am I turning for? Um, it's the first game made by this production company uh, for in the series. So you know. Hmm. What have we got here? Oh, okay. Do I have to censor that? I don't know, whatever. I think not, probably not. Got a gag. That's it. And she won't shut up afterwards, you know, after you've had sex and she's going on a bit, you can still use the gag. Oh, I've got a mask. I'm sure if I put that on, it's going to um, activate some cutscene. How the hell does this work? Oh my god. Hmm. Look at this Neolithic space vagina. Anyway, pretty cool. Oh! Oh, who are you, buddy? Come now, come now. Oh! Ah, he's gonna stab me. It's the Forsworn. It's a crossover from Skyrim. Where's my Fusroda when I need it? Oh, that was spicy. We have been there. We have seen the cosmic womb of the lustful gods. We shall return. Nothing will stop us. Neither space nor time. Oh, we're back. 
So one year late. Who am I playing as? I, I can't see my feet or anything. I don't know. Anyway, we're back. Uh, yeah, let's continue this episode. Always make the first one a bit longer. Uh, anyway, yeah. Um, I think this game could be pretty cool. Uh, I, I really like the idea of... Um, actually, you know what? I'll, I'll get into this philosophical point that I wanted to raise a little bit later. Let's just look around. It seems like I'm an architect. Hmm. All right. I guess architects are very horny people, I guess. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? Nada. After the last sleepless night, I'm not going to stare at the screen for a moment longer. The commission for Alex is a fucking disaster. Okay, I'm a guy. I guess maybe I'm... Mm. Jonathan? I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Like I say, I'm going into this completely blind. I did read a lot of the wiki for the series, but I intentionally avoided Lust for Darkness because I thought, you know, I'm going to do a Let's Play of it. <laughs> so, ah. Like a door, if I start getting chased or something and I have to fiddle with these doors, I'm a dead man. What do we have here? Deodorants? Hmm. So you can see, like, this is like the developer's first game. Oh, sorry about that. The developer's first game, because it's like no reflection, you can't see your feet. You know, um, usually in the second game, you get more confident and you get more skill. And, uh, yeah. But I'm still sure that the quality of the storyline will be good. Okay. Hmm. I'm like exploring my own place here. Decent bed. And the power went out. The alarm is uh, blinking at zero zero. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what this we got house here. meant a lot for Amanda. She even helped me with the design. When we finished the construction, she said it was her greatest dream. Yeah, okay, that is, this picture was in the, the sequel. Uh, yeah, that's Amanda, that means I'm Jonathan. Like, I, I mean, in, in Jonathan, uh, Jonathan in the sequel, I mean, he's a literal cuckold. I mean, he's like all messed up, he talks funny. Um, and his wife is around, going around fucking everyone. I mean, yeah, okay, it's a cult of ecstasy, quote unquote. So, fair enough, I guess it's, he also got his fair share of, uh, extramarital uh poontang or whatever <laughs> that word anyway so it looks like i'm jonathan guys oh, decent place architecture pays off well eh? hmm. who eats with two spoons okay anyway we just sort of walk pony sonic hmm Dodge that copyright claim there like a matrix, didn't you guys there? <laughs> uh, kitchen. Ah, let's go to the kitchen. Toilet. A crib. I have a kid. Oh, oh there's a key. Yes. Car keys. Put back. You know when I realized I was old was when I had to drive recently. Okay, so I, I was born in 87, so I'm 34 now, right? I grew up in South Africa. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I, I grew up... Okay, I'll continue this thought later. <laughs> yes, let me get my pony Sonic here. What's up? Someone just hung up. He'll call me back if he cares. Jesus, don't get emo. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, right. Huh? Someone must be fucking with me. Well, it's giving me a headache. Maybe I'll find some painkillers in the bathroom. Well, you could take the phone off the hook. Yeah. So I mean, the time I realized I was old was like when I first started driving at eighteen, because that's our age in South Africa when you can drive legally. Um was how primitive cars were back then. We didn't have power steering or shit. Anything like that. 
and the keys look like that on the counter there. Nowadays, keys are like you press a button, the car turns on, and it starts massaging your feet and all this. I don't know. It's weird. I'm becoming really a boomer in my maturity. Yeah, screw this. All right. I must realize this is a let's play, so I am going to uh, actually... Uh, is this a joke? No, it's not, sir. Screw your painkillers as well. Put back. Read it, man. You just get a thing and you don't read it. The, look, there's there's no read option, right? Oh wait, use. Oh, there's. Sorry, guys, I'm a retard. All right. Jonathan, I can't imagine what you must be going through right now, but this will end. Just trust me. I know how that sounds, but there is no other way, really. The Olverton's mansion in the outskirts of Royston Park. You have to be there tonight at midnight. Only this way can you help me and you help and help yourself. And please don't inform the police. They would know, and then all efforts would be wasted. Sneak into the prim mansion's premises from the southern side. Don't let anyone see you. I leave more clues in the garden. I'm sorry. I know how this looks, but trust me. Do it, please. Yelverton's mansion in Royston Park, midnight. A. Amanda, she's alive. Don't call the police. They would know. Fuck, what do I do? I gotta check where this fucking mansion is. Hmm. On the laptop. Alright. I like how they, they actually do that, you know, I mean... You can go to Google Maps or wait, it's probably like... Uh... Well, what's a... <laughs> right. I took the last pill yesterday. Yeah. Well, oh, there's the cap. Oops. I didn't open that thing there. Um... Yeah, okay, let's check the laptop. The laptop was upstairs, right? Nope. I oh, know a laptop was in the room I woke up from. I haven't been in there. What's this? Oh no, there's a bathroom. I have been in there. Laptop. Let's try this copyright free Google. What have we got here? Your web browser project Alex Alex CAD Source Pro. Okay, I know AutoCAD is for architectures. So architect architects. Sorry. Web browser, okay. I hope I deleted my history before I start this. Yourweb.com. Hmm. This is in Pennsylvania. Renowned detectives commit suicide before the police eyes. On May 31st, Detective Harry Whitford from Ins Insomnus Detective Agency committed suicide in Royston Park. Around half an hour before the incident, the man alarmed the police. According to unconfirmed information, the man asked for large hmm, reinforcements. When the two officers arrived on location, he asked for large reinforcement and they sent two guys. <laughs> okay. When two officers arrived on location, Detective Harvey walked of the bush and shot himself in the head. He looked like a madman, told press one of the witnesses, Liam I. Eaton, police officer. Mm. All right. Doreen Austerlitz, world famous psychology and philosophy uh, professor. Her most acclaimed work is Nature of Universes. The publication has stirred large controversy in the acad academia. Mo some popular science columnists have accused her of propagating pseudoscience. Doreen, Doreen Austerlitz herself openly admitted to believing in other universes' existence, such as Colium, Inferno, Lustga, and Morturium. Morturium. Despite numerous controversies connected to the beliefs promoted by Doreen, she will st still rub shoulders with renowned persons of politics. All right. Okay. So... Maps. Okay. Royston Park. The Elverton Mansion. So I take the North Road. Okay. Alright, I know where it is. I'm almost certain this is some nutter's trick, but I'd 
was her handwriting. I would recognize it anywhere. Maybe someone's made her write it? Okay, fuck it, I'm going there. Oops. And the cockies. These power cuts are getting to be annoying. Hmm, don't jump me. Alright, should be fine. <clears throat> yeah, I can tell that, like, uh... No offense to you guys there in Poland, right? But the, the language was a little bit dodgy there. Um, the grammar and such. No offense, obviously. I mean, my language is not perfect. My Spanish and my German are not perfect. But, uh, yeah. You can really see this was like their first game. And they were like, put their hearts into it. But the second one was where they shined. You know, such as many cases, you know. First time, you don't really know what you're doing. But the second time is always better. Mansion's probably off the main road. Alright. I love this aesthetic though, man. I grew up... Like, when I first re really got a good PC that could handle games, this is like the level of graphics and such. So, for me, this is always the sweet part. I don't like these highly polished games too much. Hmm. Royston Park became public property in 1990. Before that, the grounds belonged to the Yelverton family. Royston Park stretches across 335 acres, including the easternmost grounds of Whipping Wood. Hmm. Alright. Alright, alright. I see they put the graffiti of the cult. Uh, the cult of ecstasy there. Yeah. I don't need anything else from the car. Yeah, alright. You know what? Actually, aging is not that bad. I'm actually enjoying my life now. Uh, in, in regards to, like, being this age. Mm. I feel like a lot of the things that I've enjoyed uh, will go over the heads of young, younger people. You know, like, uh, my lady, she's 24. And I just can't share some sort of uh, pop culture things with her because it just wasn't around in her time. So... I guess every generation says that, right? Hmm. Royston Park. Kaka, 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 kaka. <laughs> All right. Look how bloody aesthetic this is. Pennsylvania, right? I'm planning to actually go to America this year uh, for the ne Necronomicon event. And I will spend some time in New England in general. I got a friend in the Amish country. I don't know if you're watching, bro. <laughs> but for sure I'll come visit you. He's not Amish, but, you know, around there. So this is the mansion from the second game, right? This is where all the fun stuff happens. Hmm. One of the questions that I always think of when I see cults in Lovecraft stories, right? Now, the cults, they have it figured out to a degree. So, for example, we do know that Lust... Uh, what the fuck, you man? Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was right in my ears, man. Uh, let me drink my Sicilian wine. Ah. So, uh, <laughs> so, we know the cult is right, right? So, you got the, the, the esoteric order of Dagon. They know Dagon exists, they know Cthulhu exists, all this sort of stuff, right? In this game, they know Lustgar exists as a real place. As It's not just delusion, because the guy, he brought back something, right? That book, right? Um, of course, that could have been bullshitted by the, the, the antagonist, but still. In the story, it's that these places do exist. Alright, hopefully I can avoid getting spotted. Oh yeah, we do some stealth though. Oops, Jesus Christ. I crawl like a bloody... Yeah, something. I don't know. Slug. Uh, but, I mean, would you join the cult then? Alright. Now, obviously, you're thinking, uh, Okay, yes, it's a sex cult. That'll be fun. Um, but you... Despite the fact that you get your weasel greased regularly... Uh, <laughs> um, it is still a weird cult. You know, so, would you join? That's what I'm saying. 
because I mean it could go very badly so they do know the truth about the world well a truth I mean they could be interpreting it very badly so they could be thinking oh the lustful God you know he just wants us to have orgies and have a good time and stuff and this is how we'll find peace that might not be the case maybe he doesn't give a shit which is what I think uh, he doesn't give a shit about um, humans too much uh, how good is the visuals? No, it's sphere, vision sphere is slow there. Um, hmm? run, 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 run. Oops. So, I mean, there's a question whether you would join the cult or not. Which is actually a video that I'm planning to do for the Arkham Reporter channel. Not the this cult of ecstasy or even the esoteric order of Dagon just in general knowing what you know would you join the cult because I mean for one thing they know more about what's really happening in the world than the the, the, the average citizen of the world right but they're also all messed up in the head and they do weird stuff I mean you would have to be worshipping right and that that kind of bothers me like as an atheist, okay, I'm not like, oh, Richard Dawkins, my god. Uh, <laughs> I'm not like an edgy atheist. I grew out of that phase a long time ago. Oops. But, you'd have to be worshipping something. And I just don't think I have that in me to worship something. Like, uh, Ea, Ea, Cthulhu, Fatagan, and then, and then that, and later in this game it says Eve, Laurbrock, Eve, Luska. I mean, I just would feel like the ultimate drone just doing this um, it, uh, it's the thing whenever you start a new game is you don't know how good the NPCs are with uh, with their vision and such like I've been playing hitman uh, a while now I love oh, that that's what I'm looking for I love that series Running around this damn garden is driving me insane but I know the NPCs uh, when I can be afraid nah this one I don't know Okay, let's see what we got here, lads. God, I hope you're reading this. I'm also worried that something might happen to you. Take care. Those are dangerous people. Don't raise any suspicion. They identified people at the gate. So if you put on the robe and the mask, you should be safe. Alas, here comes the worst part. I couldn't get my hands on an invitation to the celebration. They're going to check them again on entrance. Was it your COVID pass? I hope you can find some other way of entering the mansion. I hope how all the all that sounds. I know how all that sounds. I know this is all madness, but you must make it. I'm sorry. Now, please get inside and find me and follow me carefully. I'll be wearing a white gown. A. Eh? Alright. What is this? Oh, my rope. I don't feel like myself. This night just keeps getting weirder and weirder. That sounds like a good time. What are you talking about? Alrighty, boot, uh, guys. It's time for... How long has this video been going? Like 40 minutes. It's time for... Uh, <laughs> let's get to the entrance. And I think that is where I will cut. Uh, just to keep you guys in suspension. But I will record. I'll continue recording. Huh? <laughs> I don't want to give you too much content at once. Let's go talk to these fine NPC fellows. Hello, Governor. Oh, okay. So this is the mansion from the first game, right? No, the second game. It looks bigger on the outside. But then these are the cult of ecstasy guys, and they were generally peaceful. What I'm thinking is that Amanda is new to the whole scene, right? In the second game, you know, she's like the boss. But this is like, she's this is all new to her. So she's saying these people are dangerous. Where in reality, they're, they're actually like uh, it not. It amuses me immensely when initiates hearing the word Lustigar for the first time. Ask how it is possible that the name of a primeval land or another universe contains our young human word Lust. This issue has been touched upon in the nature of universes by Doreen Austerlitz. My German, however, shamefully, was 
was still in its infancy when I laid my hands on scripture. So you don't know the answer to that undeniably elementary question? Oh, my friend, this is not the time for contempt. The gates of Lustigar are now open to everyone. When it comes to our issue, well, as a man of uncanny knowledge in universology, <laughs> I shall cast a light on the topic. I would be grateful. A universe is constantly penetrated with streams of essence from the other worlds. As humans, we are the various extents sensitive to it. Just as hell has always been present in our understanding, visions of the land of ecstasy have always lingered on the brink of our consciousness. The name Lustigar did not come to be from the word lust. It was just the other way around. Our human word was inspired with the name of the land of eternal pleasure. This is amazing in all its substance. Thank you, and forgive my ignorance. We forgive you. But only because in the face of what's coming, our minds will be nothing but a whisper of the past. Yes, now let's go behind the garden shed and I will give you a little handy from a reach around. Hmm. Alright, okay. And I unironically that was actually uh, some good world building. That's why I actually bothered to stand there so you guys can listen. Um Rakan Al Murawa. Wasn't he in nine eleven or something? I don't know. Um Yeah, let's go <laughs> I don't think we can go around seeing much more. Uh Looks, this looks like an important NPC. Nope, nothing. Uh, no, no. Maybe we can sneak in this way. I don't want to use the main entrance locked. But okay, we'll go in the main way. I don't have an invitation. Approaching could end badly. Oh, yeah? Alright, I do have to sneak in. Or something like this. Mm. Locked. Can I hit? I have nothing in my inventory, right? Oh. E? No. Oh. Uh. Man, I'm getting like thief vibes. Vibes. You know, like I want to hit them over the head with a blackjack or something. That was a beautiful game. Thief and Thief 2. Oh, actually, maybe Thief 3. Maybe I could have given that a play. I know it's like old, but I mean, shit. I'm not trying to turn into the next uh, Markiplier or something here, you know. I'm just want to do this channel for my fun. What did she say? That I have to. Uh, they're going to find some other way of entering the mansion. Alright, let's try that then. Okay, mansion's there. Uh, let's try go through that gate there. Um, yeah. Hmm. So yeah, I mean, it would be interesting to actually join the cult, but I mean, you might end up in a worse situation. Or you can be like a human and stick your head in the sand, you know? That type of thing. Ah, uh, I have to go around a little bit. Hmm. Let's go, let's go, lads. Still philosophizing there. Very good. Let's turn the corner and surely here I can sneak in through this way right what are you thinking of do you have doubts not at all I'm looking forward to the first breaths of the land of the last I don't understand it has been described in the book of last sea yeah, hmm how do I get in itself. It's just as if the border of dimensions disappeared completely for a little while. Alright, this video is getting on long enough. Let's see how I can get into this place. And then... Yeah, I don't want to drag it on too long for you guys. I will try and find the sweet spot between... Uh, uh, meaty content and also having it streamlined. So, I'm going to fast forward to the moment when I figure out how to get in there. And if anything interesting happens, I'll show that to you too. So, I'll be back right now. Hold on. Ingo found an invitation. Dear Sabinian, we kindly request your presence at the great ceremony, which will conclude years of preparation for our association. The celebration will be held at the usual place at midnight, beginning the first day of astronomical summer. 
May your desires lead you to us. W.D. Yelverton. Maybe now I can get inside. Yes, let's do so. Alright, it was just chilling there on the table. I should have spotted it, actually. My bad. So. Hello, Governor. Our will is for you to present your invitation. Here you are. Welcome among us. The Yelverton's mansion stands open before you. Gracias. 